From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. This is your 5 Plus Extended Forecast. Where would you like to start? Well, let's talk about first the cold front coming through. Uh, it's been a lot more windy. It's going to get a lot cooler. Still no rain chances, though, with this cold front. Once again, another dry cold front that's coming through. Good news is by the time we get to next week, we'll talk about it here in a little bit. But right now, some chances looking like we could see our first significant chance for some rain in what feels like well over a month at this point. September, we had barely any rain, collectively less than one inch of rain across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. So far in October, not a single raindrop so far. So hopefully by the time we get to next weekend, we're starting to talk about some rain chances back into the forecast. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Again, cold front came through this evening. That's uh, increased those rain chances, but also, excuse me, it increased the winds outside. I wish it was increasing those rain chances. Uh, Increase the winds. It's been gusty this evening. Going to be gusty for Monday as well. Wind gusts around 30 miles per hour. The big headline this week is going to be the potential for our first frost. Uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday, or excuse me, Wednesday morning, Thursday night could have temperatures dropping back down into the 30s. Usually when we need that frost, we need cooler uh, ground temperature as well. So I think maybe we could see a patchy frost mainly across northwest Arkansas. I would definitely not call it our first frost of the season like you may be seeing on social media so far. We'll see though, tracking over the next couple of days, see if temperatures continue to trend downward. Northwest Arkansas into tomorrow morning, might need that light jacket as you head out the door. I'll tell you what, if you need that light jacket tomorrow morning, you're gonna need it pretty much the rest of this week because those morning temperatures are only gonna get cooler. Look at these daytime highs for our Monday, upper 60s and low 70s. Break out the flannel, break out the long sleeve. You've been hiding that turtleneck away in the closet tomorrow. Perfect fall day to wear it. Expecting a lot of orange uh, shaded outfits tomorrow throughout the day as everybody's getting into the fall like season with the cooler temperatures here. Plenty of sunshine all day long across the river valley. Need to get a little bit more time for the cooler air to sink down to the surface. I think by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning, we're definitely feeling the cooler air in the morning hours. Daytime highs though, and that's where you're going to feel it across the river valley. It's going to be feeling over into the mid 70s by the time we get to the peak heating hours for tomorrow afternoon. Just to clarify, remember, this past Saturday, we broke records for heat. This cold front really is packing a punch and bringing in that cooler air. Still, again, no rain chances, unfortunately. Cold front sweeping through this evening, pushing uh, that cooler air further towards us. You can see that cooler air sinking down to the surface Tuesday, Wednesday, into Thursday as well. For some heat starts to build back in later on this week. Overall, though, it's not going to be too bad. It's going to be really comfortable, pretty much, is basically the story throughout the rest of the week. Comfortable if you like the fall weather. Morning temperatures over the next several mornings across northwest Arkansas. Again, tomorrow morning, not too bad. We've had mornings starting off into the upper 40s uh, uh, so far as we've gotten into fall. You're used to that, right? Well, what you're not used to, what we haven't seen in a while, is temperatures hovering right around the low 40s and upper 30s. 30s, more than likely at this point, Wednesday morning as you head out the door, stepping outside. It's going to be a little brisk outside, right? Well, we got those cool mornings hanging around at least till Thursday. Start to warm up by the time we get to the end of the week into next weekend across the River Valley. And it takes a little bit of time for that cooler air to sink down to the surface. We'll definitely feel it by the time we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. Temperature range anywhere between those low to upper 40s, somewhere around in there. The mid 40s more than likely over the next several mornings. Daytime highs also going to get really comfortable. I think we see our first daytime highs into the 60s in quite a while. Tuesday, Wednesday. They definitely start to heat back up towards the end of the week into next week and into those mid 70s. So still very comfortable outside across the river valley. I think our one day where we'll see 60s as a potential is going to be Wednesday into those upper 60s outside. So you say, Stephen, this is all sounding like great news. Sure, we wish you were talking about the rain. Trust me, I do too. What else is this going to happen? Well, what else is going to happen is that when this cold front comes in, it also takes away the humidity. Well, that's a good news, right? Well, Mm, not great. Uh, our wildfire risk is already high right now due to the drought that we're in. And now what's deemed an extreme drought across northwest Arkansas, rapid onsetting drought across the River Valley. And so we already have the drought. Everything's dry right now. We already have the strong winds gusting around 20 to 30 miles per hour. And now we're adding low humidity on that. You add those three ingredients together, you add up the perfect combination for fires to burn hotter, faster, longer, and spread even quicker. 
We can't forecast when and where a fire is going to break out. But if one does break out, you've got prime ingredients across the board for that fire to take off. So let's really try to do our best to avoid that throughout the rest of this week. Most of us are underneath those burn bans already, so it's already illegal to be burning outside. But let's be extra careful when it comes to everything else outside of those uh, burnings, uh, those wildfires, or excuse me, those bonfires. Uh, any open flame outside the accidental stuff. We really got to be more wary of this week because all those ingredients could be really prime this week. We talked about those winds, another ingredient for that, but it's also filtering in the cooler air. Wind gusts going to peak up at its peak this evening, overnight into tomorrow morning, around 30 miles per hour. I think early tomorrow morning, we could see a wind gust around 35 miles per hour. It's going to be really windy overnight, but that's ushering in all that cooler air. It's going to feel amazing outside. Really throughout the day on Monday, I think you could expect winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's still going to be breezy outside. Once we get overnight into Tuesday morning, those winds really start to die off back into the single digits. Talked about the burn bans. Here's a look at the updated list. Even though I wasn't expecting to see anything over the weekend, because obviously a lot of those courts are closed. Again, reminder, these burn bans issued by the county judges. No burn bans across most of eastern Oklahoma. That includes Sequoia and LaFleur County. And then Scott County, still one of the only western Arkansas counties without a burn ban right now. We'll see if we get that on Monday. Uh, we'll have to wait and see from the county judge, uh, Arkansas Forestry Commission as well. Everybody else highlighted in red, illegal to burn outside right now. Burn bans issued by those county judges. Started with Madison County a few weeks ago, and then the list just went on from there as these drought conditions continued to worsen. High wildfire risk across all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. That is from the Arkansas Forestry Commission. We get this update every Thursday. We've already shown it a few times, but it's important to show you again to show you where the drought is the worst at. Northwest Arkansas, extreme Northwest Arkansas, is listed underneath that extreme drought right now. Everything is dry. You are driving around 49 up to the Bella Vista Interpass or Interchange. Do me a favor. Look at those trees. You say, Stephen, sure, we see some yellows. We see some oranges. What's the main color you see in the fall foliage? It's starting to turn brown because those leaves went from green to brown because it is so dry outside. So we've already had those drought concerns across northwest Arkansas. Now across the river valley, you say, Stephen, we are dry. It doesn't look too bad on the drought monitor. I urge you to, if you're really interested in this, uh, to look at what the drought has been like over the past several weeks across the river valley. We've been completely blank because over the summer, early parts of the fall, we had plenty of rain. Now we haven't had any rain since the whole month of September and now through October 13th, nothing so far. So it's a rapid onset drought that we're dealing with across the River Valley. Very dry, really all across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. No rain chances the rest of the work week, but bingo right there next weekend. Maybe some rain chances back into the forecast. Our best chances that we've had in a while comes with another cold front coming for next weekend. That's going to bring in some scattered chances at best right now. We'll have to track it over the next couple of days. It's important not to get too excited, uh, too focused on the rain chances that we have now because it can change over the next several days. Either the models start to show and hey, maybe not as much rain or that front starts to lag and we could be talking about early next week or it speeds up and we could talk about towards Thursday, Friday. The date is too early to tell right now. The totalage, the estimated rainfall amount too early to tell right now. All the models are suggesting is saying, hey, next weekend we could have some substantial rain back into the forecast. Climate Prediction Center has above average temperatures still over the next six to ten days. Uh, even though it's going to be much cooler outside. But here is where I'm really looking at um, when we take a look at the precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Finally starting to see some of that green back across western Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma. That means that that also agrees with what's coming for next weekend. Maybe some rain chances back into the forecast. You take a look at the extended forecast, the 8 to 14 outlook. We don't like to see the above average temperatures. That means more than likely we're going to have this cold front come through, it's upper 60s, low 70s. And then by, we start to warm up maybe towards the end of October, still into those above average temperature territory. Not what we want either, right? But what we also see is that even though it doesn't have the green, which would mean above average rain totals, we're just at that normal level, which would be better 
than what we've had so far, which has been towards the back half of this uh, color scale right here, where it's been dark brown because there was no rain so far in the forecast. So maybe things starting to turn around just a bit. Northwest Arkansas over the next seven days, much cooler heading into the start of the week. I think the big headline this week is going to be the potential for some patchy frost during the midweek. Don't believe all the headlines that you read, right? It's not going to be a widespread frost. I think we completely avoid a freeze. But yes, Wednesday morning, those temperatures starting off into the 30s, going to be a bit chilly outside. Daytime highs, very comfortable for this season. Upper 60s and low 70s will warm up towards the end of the week. And rain chances, hopefully crossing our fingers by the time we get to next weekend. So really comfortable fall forecast the rest of this week. Pumpkin patches going to be packed. I'd imagine throughout the rest of this week into next weekend. I think even some people say, I don't care about the rain next weekend. We need the rain. I'll go out to the pumpkin patch anyways, because it's still going to be 74, 75 degrees. Across the River Valley, temperatures take a little bit longer to cool off. That cooler air sinks down by the time we get to Tuesday, I think, especially in the morning, starting off into those upper 40s. By the time we get to Wednesday, that's going to be our coolest day. Low 40s for the morning temperature. Daytime highs only into those upper 60s and low 70s and will warm up by the time we get to the end of the week, but only back up into those mid to upper 70s and hopefully some rain chances by the time we get to next weekend. So enjoy the cooler air this week, especially right around that midweek where those morning temperatures get real brisk outside. Dare I say chilly from five news. I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. That's your five plus extended forecast.